friends and welcome to my channel if you're new or welcome back if you're back. Um, if you're new, my name is Rabbit and my pronouns are they, them. And I'm really, really stoked today because I um, just kind of like cleaned the house a little bit and put out a couple Halloween decorations, like final ones the other day, like window stickers and wall stickers and stuff like that. And I just want to show you guys like a little Halloween tour of my house or like what my house looks like decorated for Halloween slash what it will look like probably for most of the year because for me lots of this decor is going to be year round regardless. Um, so I guess let's just get straight into it. Um, the first thing that I want to talk about is obviously my set that I've been using the past last couple of days. Um, behind me this whole like Halloween mantle sort of situation. Um, so let me first give you like the wide view of it. So basically there's two pieces to this situation um, on the bottom. There's like this giant wooden side table that um, my dad gave to me in cage. It used to be, it was from this old restaurant that went out of business and I love it so much. It has all these really cool kind of little creatures and people and stuff in it and like all these really gorgeous carvings and just feels so old and fancy and spooky and I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> Um, on this side, I have hung up a bunch of different signs, mostly from the dollar store and like little cards. So I have all different sorts of greeting cards hanging up all around. And this is my favorite sign. I got it last year around Halloween time from Michael's, but cards go all up the wall. And on this side, I have like this kind of hangy guy from uh, the dollar store last year. Lots of signs down here as well, kind of more like uh, palmistry signs and then this was from Michael's last year and then this uh, coffin one was from the dollar store this year. I love this wooden cabinet that my mom repainted for me. Um, she did it like with greens and oranges which I feel like just really fit the Halloween theme. On the um, handle of the cabinet I put this little devil like doll guy. Let's open the cabinet. So on the first shelf, I have all these little Halloween trolls. Um, I really, really like the Frankenstein and the alien because they're green with a little skeleton suit and the cats are so cute. So is the magician. Um, up a, s a level or so, I have a bunch of black cat stuff. Um, this bowl I originally got for the cats, but it has a crack in it, so I can't use it as a cat bowl. So instead it is just like a decorative bowl. And I have like teeny tiny ceramic cats and also like small ceramic cats. The Joanna Parker cupcake cat that Cage got. This teeny tiny pumpkin cat. Like, um, let me just show. This is my finger to scale with the cat. So it's like really itty bitty. Same with like this other little cat. It's like a vampire. And then we have this little trick or treater and the other Joanna Parker cupcake friend and more tiny cats that I'm obsessed with. I got them from Michaels. I have this little crystal skull and a sign from the dollar store that says beware black cat crossing and on the top shelf i have some bones that i found uh this black rose that cage got me when we first started dating um this little cat toy that is way too loud for its own good um a sign with a skull in it from the dollar store and this palmistry hand from the dollar store as well that's the cabinet and on top of the cabinet I put those Joanna Parker um, stackable kind of boxes and the Michael's Halloween cat with the pumpkin and the witch hat. I love him. I love his little close together eyes. He makes me really really happy. Oh my goodness. Stop. Why are you so cute Lemon? Hi. She's the best lady in the world. Oh my goodness. Sweet girl. So, um, like I said, I have my little pumpkin card that I love. This little, like, treat, um, container from Michael's last year. I have this blood orange scented candle with a witch on it that I'm having a lot of trouble illuminating. You can see it there. And, um, I also am leaning up the Beetlejuice cane against the, uh, mirror kind of thing up here. Um, I've got this little skeleton friend that Cage's mom gave him when he was a kid and he originally I didn't like him when I first saw him but now he's like one of my favorite things in our Halloween display. Have a little ceramic cat and my jar from Michael's from last year. Down here I put together a bunch of our stuffed animals we got that are like spooky slash black cats slash spiders and pumpkin people 
and I put up this kind of corny sticker from the dollar store. I got my little pumpkins out and just like these little ghost and cat and jack-o'-lantern. This said put more stuffed animals. And this is one of my favorite Halloween cards. I kind of wanted it more prominently displayed. Also in the center, I have this other like tuxedo cat. Normally when you see like spooky black cats, they're always just black. So I like that the sticker set had like tuxedos in the set. That made me really, really happy. Um, so I've got like my big black cat with the mouth open. I love this guy so much. He's one of my favorite pieces of Halloween. And my dad really likes the pumpkin friend. So that was cool when he came over that he commented on that. I have my like weird black cat statue. I love this guy. His face is so funny. He kind of looks like a squirrel to me. <laughs> um, and back there I have my little coffin. And I obviously put some creepy cloth over top of like this uh, thing. Sorry, the light is like so ridiculously crazy. It's hard <laughs> um, filming because the room is very dark. So I have to like use this little light. I have my velvet stuffed cat. And then right above him is this like cardboard box of a cat and this little mummy doll guy which was our first ever like little woven doll friend that we had on um, this side i have more greeting cards and of course the super beautiful tapestry from take to the grave and um these signs from the dollar store and i recently got this from my work some illustrator dropped off a bunch of her illustrations as samples and no one had grabbed this for like two months so i was like fine i will take it um, and i just like took it home so yeah, don't tell. Um, this is a cool sign that I got at the dollar store. And then way up top, I have strung up a Halloween banner as well as like my felt ghosts that I found. And on the very tippy top of the mantle, I have my snow globe collection, little tin pumpkin and a little coffin on one side and a little black cat mug and a cauldron with frogs on the other side. I still am toying with the arrangement of the mantle but I'm pretty happy with it but it might switch around a little bit and if I do switch it around a little bit I'll definitely film that process um, but otherwise this is what it looks like like from far away I think it's super cool it feels so festive every time I look at it it just makes me really really happy let me see if I turn off the lights if it looks better this is what it looks like when the lights are off I, I don't think that's much better honestly I think that's quite a bit worse um, oh that's cool yeah this is what it looks like kind of in its glory. I, I think it's super cool. I see it every day and it just makes me feel so happy and so festive. And um, yeah, it's Halloween collection. Memories starting and I love it so much and I think it looks so beautiful. And yeah, so this is where the concentration of the Halloween decor has ended up. But I will show you guys the rest of the house that has also gotten like a couple of Halloween pieces um, or that is just generally spooky. So um, I hope you enjoy and let's get into the rest of the house. All right, so starting at like kind of the entryway at the house, um, I have these two pumpkins, which I brought home from the grocery store today and they were so freaking heavy. I thought I was gonna die on my way back. Like it was, <laughs> I'm being dramatic, but it was so intense. Um, this um, like entryway rug, um, I got it from Michael's last year, but I've also seen them sell it this year and I love it. It has Binks from Hocus Pocus on it and my cats also love to use it as a scratching post. Speaking of, Hi, be oh, please no. Hi. Uh, beautiful Lemon is here to say hello. Um, also by the entryway, since my cats like to sit in the sun, I've put um, their Jack Skellington cat bed out here. Um, they do like to look out the windows, especially when I put bird seed outside for the birds. And then also I put um, the little catnip toys in here and they just live in this corner and Tuna, like Tuna um, pulls them out as she needs them. And then this little pumpkin mouse lives here. The other one I um, pulled out the like plastic part that makes it activate so it's like really loud and squeaky. So I've just used it as a decoration now and this one like still has that part in it. You know what I mean? This one still has like the little tag and as long as this stays in the squeaker won't activate, so I'm keeping it silent, so it's much less annoying. Huh? Oh, hi! Tuna decided to come say hello to the pumpkins also. She's perfect. I'm obsessed with Looney Tunes. I love how Tuna kind of matches the Jack Skellington bed. I mean, so does Lemon, 
But to be fair, tuna uses this bed much more than lemon does. Yeah. Sweet and beautiful girl. We also got this new um, cat tree for the ladies, which I'm really excited about. But the thing that makes it spooky is that Cage hung <laughs> this little catnip bat off it. And I just think, oh, it's so cute. It makes me really happy. Anyway, um, my dad brought in recently this massive um, kind of old desk thing that I'm obsessed with, mostly because it has claw feet. And um, he got it from this restaurant that was going out of business and like selling all their furniture pieces. It has also these things that kind of look like aces on it. So it feels kind of fun and spooky Halloween-y. Um, I have the kitty's um, candy corn pumpkin kind of bag down here. Tuna freaking loves playing with it. It's, it's pretty adorable. <laughs> And up above, like on the desk, this is where Tuna eats her breakfast, lunch, and dinner in her little like spooky kitty bowl. Sorry if it's kind of gross to show the cat food. And her little pumpkin friend keeps her company. Uh, a little sneak peek of what's gonna be in my house tour eventually. I, um, I put all the lights on even though it's like still kind of light out. It gets really dark in this room because it's um, in the kind of basement -y, uh, part of the house uh, but I think it's so lovely to have the lights on because um, you can still see it and um, this like is up year-round but I guess it's kind of Halloween-y so I'll show it. Um, it's from the artist Sin Eater who also did this tapestry but I'll like talk more about this stuff when I'm doing my Halloween or my like regular house reno moving in whatever tour. Um, on the couch, I've put this bat, um, bat sheet kind of thing. I think it's originally supposed to go in a curtain like rod so it hangs over as like a bat shape, but I think it looks really good on the couch. And then when I sit on the couch, it looks like I have bat wings, which makes me really happy. Um, this one I got from the dollar store. And this little bat um, was just like this wooden bat that I got from the dollar store and I painted it with like the trans flag and hung it up on our lamp. And I just think it looks really cute. So um, it's a bat, so Halloween related, therefore it's coming into the video. Um, Cage's mom also recently found this really beautiful little like ch chair thing which I'm obsessed with because I've always wanted like a chaiselon kind of thing and this is like it, so obsessed with it. And on it, I've set up like a little tarot station with um, this deck I'm using right now is the Ostara tarot deck and I've had it for a couple years and I really love it. This is the card I got today. And got my crystal and stuff. Um, and then I found this is like a nice place for the Ouija platter to live for now on this like old, kind of tea trolley sort of thing. Um, but obviously I will use it as a dish when I need it for dishes. Um, so then we have this chest um, that Cage's mom gave us that we use to eat our dinner on nowadays. And I put this fabric on it that has kind of um, like a spider web lacy look. And then you can't really see it, but it has um, bats on the bottom. And on the surface of it, I like to keep this little dish to kind of collect any clutter we might have. And our coasters live here. They're all like cat themed. Um, I have like my moonlight out. I feel like it also helps give it like a spooky feel. And I love having the like toasted marshmallow candle lit because it smells so good. But I go through these guys so fast and I wish they had like a spooky like exterior for the toasted marshmallow candle, but they don't. So I need to like print out my own on some sticker paper or something and glue it on or just like glue it on regularly. Um, I also hung up Cage's tote bag that I sometimes use that has this really adorable cat on it. it says hang in there. I know it's not like Halloween, but it kind of feels perchance Halloween related. Um, in the kitchen, because there's like a little island in the kitchen, um, I hung up some, or I guess I put up some stickers of bats on the wall, which I think looks really fun. And um, my purses live on the back of these chairs. So I have like my book of spells purse that is a little bit falling apart, but I still sometimes use it when I need a larger purse. And then my scaredy cat purse, which I use all the time. And we're still moving in even though it's been so long. So I still have like boxes of random stuff that I need to put away. <laughs> Sorry about that. And also when you're just entering the kitchen, there's all these prints that are kind of like circusy feeling. So it's not like necessarily Halloween, but feels kind of Halloween-y. And up on this like little divider, I've put a little spider friend. So I love that. Um, in the kitchen, I've displayed some of my favorite towels and it just makes me so happy. Every time I look at them, I love mixing and matching and like doing different combinations of them and stuff. And I put my little like 
witch hat um, bath rug, or it's like a kitchen rug here, but um, yeah, that, that lives there and I think it's adorable and precious and I love it. Um, these are the bath stickers that I hung on the wall and look how cute today's or this month's um, picture is. I, I have this um, calendar that's like all rescue cats and I really love it. October is obviously the best month because it has all these black cats and I just think that's so precious. Um, and then I recently sewed a bunch of Halloween patches onto my cooking apron because I had a bunch of stains on it. So it's looking fun and festive hanging up here. Um, this is where the cookie jar lives. It's filled with spooky cookies or will be shortly. Extra Halloween towels live above the microwave. And I put up a spooky black cat sticker to um, preside over my skeleton um, oven mitts. I ended up putting my Beetlejuice Lady sticker here, or not sticker, it's a magnet, but with all my other magnets, because unfortunately the front of my fridge is not magnetic, which is very sad. And I have my fall bucket list hanging up, which I've been slowly adding things to, and like checking them off and adding and etc. etc. On this little table, I have um, the like ceramic coffin guy that holds um, my keys and stuff every day. And above the light switches, I've put some little stickers of this like crow and this pumpkin that I love. That's what the kitchen wall kind of looks like. Oh my gosh, ladies, you're bullying each other. Um, and then there's this really beautiful wall to which I added a little ghost sticker. I love it. Hey, this is, she's a bully. You can be such a little bully Looney Tunes. Hi. And this is a year round thing, but I keep um, all my like cooking utensil guys that I use very often in um, this jar from Michael's from last year. And I've displayed most prominently the ones that like my spatulas with the spooky <laughs> things on them. So I just think that like looks really cute in the kitchen. And then from the kitchen, you can see the Halloween mantle, which I just think is super special, even though, oh my gosh, we still need to like finish filling up that wall with stuff, but oh, the Halloween mantle just like gives me such good vibes and it's definitely staying up year round. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> okay, and Cage and I still re need to redo this like backsplash or whatever, like black and white tiled, like checkered sort of situation. So just picture that that's that. Um, but spooky mugs from last year that we use every day and are just our favorite. So we just like keep them out all the time. And it looks so cute with the spooky um, soap dispenser. It's it's perfect and it's gonna look even more perfect when we do the black and white thing. Anyway, yeah, so that's the kitchen. Um, adequately spookified. Also my dad made me this heart and I love it. And it's not necessarily spooky, but maybe like a little bit Frankenstein-y. Uh, but yeah, I freaking, oh, I love this one so much. And it lives in the kitchen all the time. Also, these are coming off the wall. Ugh, I keep having to stick them down. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I love it. So here's Tuna. And um, in the cupboards, I'm really excited because every time I open them, it's just like spooky plateware. All my favorite spooky mugs that I've gotten this year and years before. And spooky plates and spooky um, bowls. Spooky travel mugs, spooky small mugs, spooky cups. We don't really have that many cups. We mostly just use glasses, but oh, it makes me so happy. Doesn't it, Looney? All right, and then in terms of the craft room, it's, um, I'm still like finishing, like putting the final finishing touches up in general, but I did put up a couple Halloween thingies in here. Um, so I have some like, crow stickers on the walls and Mr. Skeleton hanging up here. There's another crow sticker. Bunch more crows up there. They're, they were just the um, dollar store wall stickers. Got my like double platter out here, but when I need it for the kitchen, I'll obviously bring it out. Um, this like skull lamp lives here next to the like bat holder of things, which is fun. I decorated with um, a bunch of window stickers last night 
I really like the one where it looks like the dog's chasing the skeleton with the pumpkin. And I put up like a neon bat light from um, online that I got earlier this year and I'm so happy with it. And um, oh yeah, this like mermaid I got last year and it kind of fits like the Halloween theme as well as like my little dragon um, collection situation feels kind of Halloween-y. But yeah, in general, I really love it in here. I actually also put up these um, Halloween bats and stars and I haven't cut them down yet. So I guess I'll cut them down and we'll see how that looks over the window. Uh, one sec. All right, so I just put these like bat and star like kind of foils up over the window and I think they're super fun and like very sparkly and shiny and just kind of feel kind of you know, party situation. Uh, so I guess this is just a little sneak peek of the craft room that I'm working on. Um, I'm still not done decorating in here, but you will see the full thing if you're interested when I make my um, Halloween or <laughs> my regular um, house um, update, moving, uh, decorating, etc, etc video. So um, yeah, but I love it in here and I just thought I'd show off like the cool Halloweeny stuff real quick before we go. Um, I want to show you guys what it looks like in the dark with the lamps and stuff. Oh, hi train. So <laughs> train's passing by which makes it kind of extra fun. Uh, but yeah, got my like neon bat light. Got my like a little glowing skull that almost makes me feel like Vasilisa. Um, and then a bunch of my dolls here like have little glow in the dark things. Glow in the dark bottle of paint. Other like parts of my Monster High collection glow in the dark like all of Twyla's eyes. You totally can't see it. Um, but I freaking love it in here. Kid was like your art craft room is so cool like you're never gonna come out of it. But I will sometimes. It's, it's just really fun in here. But yeah, um, that's that. <laughs> And we haven't really fully finished setting up the bedroom, so like the walls are very bare, but really liking the prints that Kate just put up so far, especially, oh my gosh, this one is my favorite and I insisted that we put it in the bedroom. Cage um, did it, like all the art in it. <laughs> Let me get a little closer. And it's not like necessarily Halloween, but with the crows and the snakes and the bugs, like it feels suited so why not mention it right um and then yeah this one also feels kind of halloween because it feels a little circusy maybe um he got it from society six recently and those are all things that we still need to put up but the bedspread <laughs> the bedspread that i decided to use and i changed it today um was this <laughs> this like black cat my parents got it for me and it, it cracks me up i think it's pretty funny but it's like really sweet of them. And um, yeah, spooky Halloween season black cat bedspread. And of course, I put my Halloween greetings pillow on the bed. That makes me very happy every time I see it. And on my bedside table, I always have my like little happy haunting um, bucket that um, holds all my cords and such. And then we have this little Ouija rug um, that goes to the entrance. And then I've put up a bunch of, ignore the dead plants, I've put up a bunch of um, spooky uh, glow-in-the-dark stickers on the on the window, so it, it's pretty fun to, to see those. Also, Cage's skateboard is out, and it's not necessarily Halloween, but it feels kind of spooky because that's a zombie, so why not? And um, I redid this coffin that I originally got um, from the Facebook Marketplace, and it was purple and um, with like black skull fabric inside. And I changed it to purple um, black cat fabric and a black exterior, and I think it looks really good. And it's my pin holder now. <laughs> um, and then I also redid this, which kind of looks spooky with all my spooky um, earrings that live on it. So, you know, excuse Toonie in the background. Yeah. She's just very needing of attention, huh, miss? I don't know. All right, and then my bathroom pretty much looks the same as always, except spooky towels. Oh my gosh, love these. I think they're so cute. This one literally says spooky. Um, I got it at Winners this year. And then this one was from the thrift store, and I found it while it was not Halloween, like during the year, but I love it because it's little bats, and it matches so good. Like, look how cute that is. Okay, so that plus little spooky rubber ducks. I freaking love that so much. And I put our little glow-in-the-dark ghost soap friend. He smells like lemongrass and I put him in this little spooky cat bowl. Spooky cat bowl, which I think looks so cute. And I just charged him um, so I can show you guys how he glows in the dark. Okay. 
So, charging, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hopefully this will show up on film. I don't know though, I doubt it. Whoa, holy cow. Yeah, that shows up really well after I like just immediately charge him. But yeah, oh, now it's like not showing up so much. Come on, that was so good, like right at the beginning. Um, I'm really excited about the little ghost friend. You can't see him on film as well as you can in person, but he's he's really neat and really glowy. Let's see if I can like get it to do that again. Yeah, that's crazy. I love that so much. Yeah, super fun, love it. And um, that's all I got for you today. I really, really hope you enjoyed and I hope that you're having a really, really fun and spooky and safe Halloween or Samhain or whatever other holidays fall around this time season. Um, I hope that it is spooky and fun and and I don't know when I'll get this uploaded. I really hope it's in time before Halloween actually happens because I'm really bad at editing videos. <laughs> I like tend to film a bunch and then not edit them for a really long time and then they end up going up really late. So I hope that doesn't happen with this. But um, regardless, if you're curious, I think I'm filming this on like October 23rd. So um, yeah, either way, I hope that you have a fun Halloween or have Halloween slash that one already happened. I hope you um, can let me know what you did or what you're planning to do because I'm looking for ideas and I'm down with celebrating Halloween a little late if that's what happens. Lately I've just been watching a lot of spooky movies and kind of doing this like last minute decorating touches the past couple days and planning out my costume. So um, it's been a good time and I hope you guys are having a good time too. I'm sending you a lot of love and um, yeah, I hope you have a spooky safe, fun time and are being kind to yourself and others. So uh, see you in the next one, I hope. <laughs> Bye for now.